Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Happy April, what is this, April 2nd, April 3rd? April 3rd, okay. So this weekend, <laughs> I was all about me some WrestleMania, but that's gonna be another video, so stay tuned for that. But this video <laughs> is all about my favorites for the month of March. Um, March was an awesome month. It was me and baby's 10 year anniversary. Like, how did that happen? 10 years. Longest relationship ever. <laughs> but, um, you know, we were just, well, he was just so busy. Um, so, you know, I didn't really have anything planned. But at the same time, you kind of, you know, imagine like, oh, it's going to be 10 years. It's going to be like awesome. But then like reality happens, like life happens and things just don't go as well as you, you know, like dreamed of in your head. But I mean, it was still awesome. Like we got to spend time with each other, um, you know, when he could fit me into his busy schedule. <laughs> but it was still like a really awesome um you know, anniversary and everything. And um, I can't wait for, you know, the 20 year one. And speaking of 20 years, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just bought tickets to my 20 year high school reunion. I'm like, oh my goodness, 20 years. I just can't believe it's 20 years. <laughs> I mean, I know I graduated in 2003 and now it is 2023. And even, um, you know, when me and Sho first got married, um, after our, we came back from our honeymoon, we went down to my hometown for my high school tenure reunion. So like the math is mathing, but it's not mathing, right? <laughs> I can't believe it. But I'm super excited to, you know, like see everyone. Um, you know, there's a few people that I keep up with, um, you know, like on Facebook and stuff. But um, it would be nice to see like everyone else who, um, you know, shows up and everything. I'm looking forward to it. I plan on getting drunk and like dancing. Um, <laughs> and it's going to be at a great venue. It's like at the convention center in my hometown. So, um and we have like a DJ and there's going to be like food and a cash bar. I'm definitely going to have a few drinks um, and just maybe talk to people that I was too afraid to talk to like back in the day, you know? <laughs> you know, how like you're just a kid and you know, like you just see someone, you see them in the halls all the time. You're like, man, they look so cool. I wish we could be friends, but like it just doesn't happen. So whatever. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to it. Um, and, you know, seeing the people that I graduated with. Um, but I still can't believe it's 20 years. And I don't feel old. I do not feel old at all. But <laughs> time, time is a funny thing, really. Okay. All right. Enough jibber jabber about that. Okay. So, I mean, I don't have a lot, a lot of stuff, but they have really made an impact this, you know, past month. Um, so this is the first thing that I'm going to talk about. Um, can y'all see the lid? There we go. It's like, um, it's a shiny lid. So like the light is probably reflecting off of it, but this is Dr. Bronner's, um, organic magic bomb. This stuff is amazing. My shoulder has been giving me like a lot of problems. Like um, sometimes I can move it certain ways and I get pain that I've never had before. Like I've never experienced that kind of pain before. Or, you know, um, you know, you'll feel something, but then it goes away and you're just like, yeah. But this is like, this pain was kind of like consistent. Like every day <laughs> and it would not go away so I'm like there's got to be something and I'm sure the way that I sleep at night because I sleep on this arm I've got dog hair on my shirt I sleep on this arm 
and like I'm a side sleeper so like I know I'm putting like all my weight on this arm but usually like in the morning you know I do a couple stretches and we're good but this one um you know I guess it gets stiff you could say um so uh you know getting older <laughs> and my dad's like Angela you're getting older of course you're gonna get pain I'm like no this does not this is not gonna happen to me I refuse to get old <laughs> so this has been helping me out a lot so anytime that I get like stiffness or that pain I just massage this into my muscles and it just like I've only had to use this on my shoulder twice um, and it just soothes the pain um, so it's just like this pomade consistency kind of reminds me of like <laughs> Marie's hair oil that my dad used to use in his hair <laughs> um, and it has like this peppermint smell like it's strong but it's not you know overpowering but I mean it packs a bunch I've even had you know like sinus issues uh, and before bed I take a little bit and I'll put it under my nose and you know it helps me breathe and you know I don't have that stuffy nose um, when I wake up in the morning it's awesome stuff I share this on Facebook and a couple of my friends asked me like where I got this so I got this straight off of the website there were a couple of other things that I um, needed to pick up so it's like free shipping off of $45 or more and it gets here pretty quick um, you know like usually I buy stuff on Friday because you know it's payday <laughs> I buy stuff on Friday and by Wednesday Thursday of the next week it's here so um, it's not a long wait at all um, they're, they're pretty quick and um, I absolutely love this stuff um, I actually had like a pain in my knee um, I, I really overdid it like one day I was just really feeling myself I was dancing and dropping it like it was hot and my knee was like oh Angela we haven't done that since 2003 so I had to put this <laughs> on my knee <laughs> but she is back and she is ready to like drop it like it's hot again at my high school reunion I don't know. It depends on how many, you know, shots of Jack or and Jack and Cokes I drink. You know, you never know. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't believe it's 20 years. I'm still trying to wrap my head about around that. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, you know, like I said, I've been having a lot of sinus issues. So, you know, I've been putting this under my nose, but I've also been uh, diffusing this in my diffuser. I love diffusing. I have a diffuser in my bedroom. I have one here in my office. I have one downstairs in the living room. I just love diffusing oils. There's so many benefits. It cleanses the air. Um, instead of, you know, spraying, I love me some Febreze. I love Febreze. Like that linen sky scent. And like they have a cranberry one. They have a lilac scent that I'm crazy about. But, you know, it's just like it's synthetic. And sometimes when I'm having sinus issues, using synthetic fragrances like that makes my sinuses even worse. So you just have to like stop it, bring it down to basics and, you know, do the healthier, more environmental friendly alternative which is you know diffusing essential oils so this is eucalyptus essential oil um this stuff is awesome and it is also it's strong as well it definitely packs a punch um i i uh fill my diffuser up with water and i put about 10 drops of this I put about 10 drops in this. <laughs> I went somewhere there for a second. And I go ahead and diffuse it all night. And, you know, I don't wake up in the middle of the night having to, like, sneeze or blow my nose or have, you know, get that stuffy nose and have to kind of, like, prop myself up with pillows. I can just sleep on my side, killing my shoulder like I've been doing. And <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I feel great. <laughs> um... 
I don't really know how to describe these. Um, <laughs> these are from Oracacia. They're from their um, Essential Solutions Mist line. I love these things. Um, this one is First Response. I bought this when the pandemic started. Um, anytime that I felt like I was getting a cold or something, I would spray this and it kind of like cleansed the air around me. Um, I spray it on my hands. You can also, you know, like spray this on doorknobs and it helps like disinfect and cleanse. And who else is driving by all slow by my house? Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, it just says, you know, protect and purify your atmosphere. So you give it a good shake, give it a couple, especially if someone's like, Sneezing, you're like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and it's just, it just smells so good. Um, this one, I wonder what is in this one. Um, it is cleansing tea tree, so that's already tea tree has so many cleansing properties in there, purifying properties. Uh, so tea tree, camphor, eucalyptus and citrus so um that's awesome um I've, I've also seen people use this like in an airplane when they're getting on like when they're boarding the airplane they'll kind of like spray this around their personal area and oh man that smells good <laughs> so this is some awesome stuff uh, so this is the first response uh this is pep talk okay this one has, um, it's a spicy, it's a blend of spicy cardamom, uh, cardamom, I'm sorry, invigorating peppermint and energizing citrus to clear the cobwebs, inspire decision making, and dissipate the doldrums. Perk me up with pep talk. This, this is exactly what it says. Like, it really peps you up. Um, I spray this in the morning, like, especially when I have to work and I'm just like, I don't want to go to work. I don't, I don't even want to be up. The only reason why I'm up is so I can let the dogs out and feed them. I just want to go back to bed. I don't even want to make coffee. I just want to go back to sleep, you know, but you know, you have stuff to do. And I'm, I am such an emotional person. Like I give into my emotions. I really lead with my emotions, you know, but I really need to think with my head sometimes because if I would depend on my emotions, like I wouldn't be making this video right now, okay? <laughs> like all I wanted to do was like, you know, sleep. <laughs> I'm, it is, I don't really think it's like m lack of motivation. It's just my emotions are just that strong. And so like I really have to snap myself out of it and be like, girl, you have stuff to do. And this pep talk uh, really helps me. There is this line in the Golden Girls. I also do that too, um, where uh, Dorothy is sick and she's on the couch and Blanche comes in. She's like, Dorothy, I'm almost ready to go. I had the, the girl at the salon do my makeup while... Um, you know, I was getting my hair done. I'll be ready in like five minutes. And Dorothy's like, Blanche, I'm sick. I can't go. And Blanche is like, oh, you just have a little tickle in your throat. And then all of a sudden, Dorothy's like, <coughs> just hacking her lungs out. And Blanche is like, see, it's just a tickle in your throat. And so <laughs> there's this part where uh, Blanche is like, Dorothy, it's mind over matter. You're not really sick. You can heal yourself, Dorothy. Walk, Dorothy, walk. And then Sophia, she's like, just because you put makeup on with a butter knife doesn't mean you're Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> so that's like my pep talk that I tell myself, like, it's mind over matter, Angela. You're not really tired. You have energy. Get up. Heal yourself, Angela. Walk, Angela, walk. <laughs> These are the things I have to do to get ready for my day. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> but that scene from the Golden Girls in Pep Talk, 
my puppies and coffee. If that doesn't work, then it's just not meant to happen that day. But usually those things work and I'm ready to like get on with my day and, you know, have a pretty success, uh, successful, productive day. Um, and I love pep talk. It really perks you up. <laughs> Um, another thing that, which one do I want to do next? Okay, I'll go with this one. This one is chill pill. Okay, so sometimes I, I don't need coffee. I don't need sleep because I am just living off of anxiety. And so <laughs> this one is chill pill. And this one, um, is a blend of lavender, citrus, and patchouli. And you just take a deep breath and chill. So you just shake it up, shake it really good, and then spray it. This one, scent-wise, is one of my favorites. It really does make you want to chill. Like, I just pepped myself up and now I want to chill. Like, ooh, man, I could take a nap. <laughs> Mmm, smells so good. And it, it really does make you want to chill. Like, I spray that, and it does help me relax. Like, sometimes I just, I'm just buzzing with energy, and, like, I'm trying not to make this anxiety attack turn into, like, a panic attack, you know? So, um, I do, like, this breathing exercise where I inhale for 10 seconds, I hold it for 10 seconds and then I exhale for 10 seconds and um, I'll spray this while I'm doing my inhale and <clears throat> it really does help um, if you're not too far gone and then sometimes you need Xanax. <laughs> um, the last one that I have in my little collection is Pillow Potion. Um, you know, sometimes I sleep like a log, like as soon, well, not really as soon as I hit my pillow, but you know, like I have my routine at night. Like, um, I go ahead and brush my teeth. I'll go ahead and take my shower, lotion up, um, uh, you know, put on a, maybe a little perfume or something, uh, it, th things that just make me feel good and just, you know, relax. Um, and then I like to spray this pillow potion on my pillow. Um, and it really does, you know, so if I get in the bed at like 10 o'clock by 1045, I'm, you know, like turning the volume down on the TV <laughs> and I'm kind of like rolling over to the side, pulling that cover up. Also, the air conditioner is on like negative 30 degrees. Like I let, it has to be cold at night for me to sleep. <laughs> and, um. This pillow potion really does kind of just, it's like that cherry on the top of like a sleepy Sunday. Okay. Uh, so this has lavender, yarrow, um, and hops to quiet your mind and settle your senses. Arise from dream time refreshed and ready for life. And after that, you know, use the pep talk to pep you up. This really helps me have a really good deep sleep. Um, I also have this in a, uh, in a little bottle kind of like this that I diffuse. So, um, you know, if I'm not spraying this on my pillow or if I need like maybe some more help, I'll spray this on the pillow, diffuse it. And it's Betty by time, my darling. Okay. Hey, your motorcycle. Who is it? Oh, it's my neighbor. I see him, uh, you know, starting up his bike, but I've never seen him ride. Cool. I'm so nosy. Okay, back. Back to us. Back to us, okay? Um, so, uh, I lost my train of thought. I saw a motorcycle and I just, um, <laughs> my next item, this is something new that I have not tried before. The glare is like really bad today. The glare is real. It's kind of, it's mostly cloudy. Jax, 
Um, but like the sun is peeking out. Um, but anyway, um, this is Dr. Bronner's <clears throat> Lavender Coconut Organic Hand and Body Lotion. And honestly, I have not tried it. I wanted it to be kind of like a first impression kind of thing. Like, I trust Dr. Bonner's um, <laughs> wholeheartedly. Like, I just think it's such a, an awesome company. I wish I could work for them. Lord have mercy, I wish I could work for them. Oh, that is nice. You definitely smell the lavender and you smell the coconut and like real coconut, not that synthetic coconut scent that you get from like Bath and Body Works. I'm sorry. I love me some Bath and Body Works, but it, sometimes you smell those things and you're like, that is not real. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. And it's, it's not a, a heavy, but it's not too watery either. Like, that's really nice. And when you rub it in, it just, your skin just drinks it up. Jackie. Oh, he sees another dog. They want to go out and play. Our neighborhood needs a dog park so bad. And there's a perfect spot um, up the street from us that um, would be perfect for a dog park. But they don't have a fence or anything. And my dogs are crazy. So they'll probably just like run out into the street. And then I'm the one getting hit by the car because I'm trying to catch them. <laughs> um, but anyway. Yes, that is so nice. Very nice. And my skin just drinks it up and it just feels, and you can still snap your fingers. <laughs> um, wow, that is really nice. And they look so nice and, you know, shiny and healthy. And look at my nails. Like, my nails are growing. I do need to cut them. Um, but, like, for a second, my hands, my hands were not, um, uh, my fingernails were not growing. Like, they'd get a certain length and they would just break. But we're kind of like past that, that length where they would break. And I'm not even seeing any cracks in the nails or anything. I'm trying to drink more water. Because uh, I love me some soda. This is not my favorite soda, but my other sodas, I like ginger ale. And I drank them all, so I put some more in and I'm waiting for them to cool down. Oh. But I do like me some cherry Pepsi. Woo. That's some good stuff. Um, and then my last thing that I wanted to talk about is Dr. Bronner's Almond Castile Soap. Okay, so usually my go-to scents is lavender, peppermint, and rose. But um, I was on the website... Because I had ran out of rose body wash <clears throat> and I needed some more body wash. And I'm just like, almond. I wonder what that smells like. Because I do like the scent of almonds. Um, well, actually, you know, you always, um, you know, have like cherry almond scents. But I'm like, what is just almond? What does almond smell like um, just by itself? Um and a little back story here. Um, my mom, um, she was a huge HSN uh, and QVC shopper. And um, she had this stuff that she would buy. Um, and it was by this company, per, uh, Perlier. And um, they had this stuff. Can y'all see it? Okay. Um, white almond. And this is powder. Um, I don't use this on my body, although it's like they say it's top free or whatever. Um, I don't use this on my body. Um, what I do is, um, after, uh, you know, I, I change my linens on the bed and I put fresh linens on, I'll spray, um, like any kind of perfume, whatever perfume you like, it could be like Chanel number no. five or whatever, uh, you know, black opium by, um, is it Yves Saint Laurent? Um, whatever perfume you like, uh, you spray it on the bed and then, um, 
you know, powder is really nice, especially if you sweat in your sleep. Sometimes I do get a little sweaty. So the powder kind of like absorbs uh, that, um, that sweat. Um, so it's not like, you know, getting into your sheets or whatever. Um, and it's, it just gives you like this nice silky feel um, on the sheets and everything. Uh, so um, I spray the bed with like my favorite perfume. Um, I sprinkle a little, a little bit, not a whole lot, um, of the, uh, of this white almond. So anyway, when I saw this, this on the website, I'm like, wow, I wonder if it smells like this. Honey, yes, it does. Oh my goodness. When I was in the shower and I used this for the first time and I, you know, put it on my, on my wash rag and I smelled it, I was just like, oh, <laughs> like, it just gave me all of my life. This is now my favorite, absolute favorite scent from Dr. Bronner's. And I really wish that it came in a lotion because I am all about layering. Um, you know, I like to wash with the same scent. I like to put lotion on with the same scent. And then I like to, um, you know, spray my body with the scent. And, um, I've had this forever. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. And it smells just like the body wash. <laughs> I love when things like this come together. This is why I don't throw stuff away. This is why I'm a hoarder. I'm not that bad of a hoarder, but there are some things that I just cannot get rid of. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, and I did have... Um, this in a body lotion, but I ran out because I loved it so much. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Mm. Honestly, I forgot I had this, and I didn't realize I had it until I just opened the drawer to get this. <laughs> I'm like, I do have a perfume. Because <laughs> I was like, man, I wish I had a perfume to go with this. And I'm like, I might, I might, I have to look. And I looked, and I have it. Oh. <laughs> Y'all forgive me, like, <laughs> uh, I'm just, like, living my best life right now. I'm just so happy. So, I run off of emotions and scent, okay? <laughs> Those are the things that get me. Oh, wow. And this lasts, like, I can still smell it. You know, sometimes you can spray... Uh, fragrances, especially if they're like this old. I have no, I, <laughs> I have no idea when I got this or when my mom got this and then she gave it to me. I am so happy. And the bottle is almost, it's still almost full. Like it comes to like right here. So I have all of this. I have all of this to enjoy. Um, I am going to go on the HSN website and see if I can get some more of this because this needs to be like uh, my whole life thing. Okay. Enough of that. Do I have any lotion? That would be awesome if I had lotion. No, I'm, I'm definitely out of the lotion. Just my luck, they've discontinued it. But that's okay. I'm sure I can find something. What an awesome find. And instead of, you know, spending money, all I had to do was, is, you know, look into my little drawer to get what I needed. <laughs> so anyway, you all, that is it for my favorites for the month of March. Uh, stay tuned for the month of April because uh, Dr. Bonner's released their limited edition of uh, cherry blossom, which they say smells just like old school Jergens uh, body lotion. If you are a kid of the 80s, early 90s, you may remember that scent. Like it was the most fabulous scent. And then they did away with it. They stopped selling it. Like I don't know what happened to Jergens. And then it came back like in the early 2000s. And I smelled it. And I'm like, eh, it smells okay, but it does. It didn't unlock that childhood memory, you know? Um, 
if anything, this almond right here smells more like Jergens. So I can't wait to see what the cherry blossom smells like. And then I also got um, the green tea. I love to drink green tea. I don't really know what it would smell like. So that would be interesting. And I also got them in um, soap. And then I got like a cherry blossom chapstick because I am all about chapstick. Like my, my lips have got to be moist. I, I can't stand dry lips, okay? Kissing with dry lips? Blah, nah, no. You know, give them a little lick before you kiss me, okay? <laughs> but my husband, he always gives me moist and delicious kisses. <laughs> moist. Ugh, I hate that word. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to stop babbling. I will talk to you all later. Mwah! Bye. I know I'm crazy. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Bye.